Hey, we've got an exciting project today. We got this barn fine bike, got it running, and this time we're going to transform it. We're going to put all the parts from the barn fine bike onto the new parts bike frame that we have. Stay tuned, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> all right, well, hey, welcome back. We're gonna do it. We're gonna put it on video. The last video that you saw the gold wing, we got it running. We're gonna transfer all the parts, the good parts off of this bike onto this one. This one's a much more solid frame and this one has a title to it as well, but the fuel tank's good, all the suspension's good. Uh, the brakes aren't all locked up, which is nice, but they're really squishy. So we'll have to figure out what we're doing with that. I don't know what's up with the wheelbarrow handles. That I haven't figured out yet. Why such long extensions? It's just extensions. Why? So. Well, what we're gonna do, since this bike, you know, fork seals are shot, tires are shot, rear shocks are shot, it needs a tremendous amount of work to actually make it up to where it needs to be. And this bike has all good stuff on it. And this was a running parts bike. Supposedly. Supposedly. The guy said he bought it because he was he had another project. He was building the building the trike, a trike of some sort, and he needed all the parts off of this one, the fairings and everything, so whatever. I don't know what the whole story was. But he said he dr literally drove it into his shop and, and started tearing it down. So, and we have a key for it, and this one we don't. So we're gonna take everything off. I'm looking forward to the project. All right, time to start stripping this bike. <laughs> Fun fact, when we got this bike, uh, we uh, done lost this whole back section. It was on our trailer and it went to flying and we thought it shattered. But it's there. It's perfectly fine. So, you know, these gold wings built tough to last. Hopefully. And, uh, Dad, are we going to be using our specialty screwdrivers to take these plastics off? Yep. Special Phillips. <laughs> 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 I know. Okay, listen, guys. If you're going to be like crazy, crazy particular, <laughs> We're not. I was, I was a mechanic for most of my life, had to be super particular, and now I'm really enjoying working on my own stuff. I don't have to be that particular. So if there's these little screws that are some sort of special screwdriver, but look almost identical to a Phillips and a Phillips works them, that's what I use. And I'm okay with it. So we're not restoring anything. We're making something very functional. That's what we're doing and having a blast doing it. So if you enjoy laughing, you're very welcome to laugh at us. You're very, I love it when you guys comment. Um, and they can be negative. I really don't care. I, I laugh at all of them, actually. I think it's funny. Um, so it's good stuff. <laughs> so let's get started. That tail light's well used. Now's when swipping, snipping the wires comes out. Now we're going to hook them back up. Yep. That's for the antenna. Never mind hooking that back up. Oh. But we don't, it, it's fine, actually. The radio doesn't work anyway. If we put radio in, it'll be Bluetooth. Don't need the antenna. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that you either polish up when it's off. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> polish up that? Some of it, you'd be amazed. Well, I'm shocked folks. We're actually using brand name WD-40. Looks like a kid out of my free motor home. <laughs> you know, it came uh, out of a free boat. Oh, free boat, even better. <laughs> even better. It came out of the free boat. Speaking of boats, um, our next project that we're working on, uh, it's a project we're working on, I'm not sure when it's gonna come out exactly, but um, is another free boat. You should really invent something that you can like direct, like a specific beam of light at a specific location that you're choosing. We get fiber optics. I think someone should invent something like that. <laughs> I'm just really soaking everything with WD-40. Yeah, right? it's dripping out on me down here. <laughs> well, you, you hit the spray and it just goes, fine mist. <laughs> so I agree, we should just soak these motorcycles in WD-40. <laughs> Tire motorcycle plastic. Yeah, one of the comments was, plastic soak the whole plastic. thing in PB plastic. <laughs> okay. Okay, well you can probably take a gander at a couple of those screws hmm. now. So you normally do just chuck all your bolts and everything to one little bin and then yep. sort them out later. Through. Doing that all my life. Ooh. That one came out like butter? No. I mean it came out. Okay. How does butter come out exactly? Well, it comes out of cows. <laughs> well I mean, not as butter. You, know, you make you make butter out of the stuff that comes out of cows. Comes out of cows. Well, a very specific part of the cow. 
<laughs> you have to take everything that comes out of the cow and <laughs> stick it into the churn and start churning. <laughs> Got it. Hey. Is that open? Should be. Yes, it is. Got it. <laughs> kind of. Nice handle. <laughs> Well, that bike got a lot smaller. Here's what we're after. We gotta strip this bike down the same place. This fender is bent and it's the wrong color. So we're gonna swap that guy over. We're gonna so take the false tank off. What's this thing back here in the corner? Now, that's another one. Another parts bike that came with this parts bike. But this parts bike, I don't think there's <laughs> anything that's very valuable parts on it anymore. Um, hmm. There's not much left to it. And is it a gold wing? Yeah, it was. A, was Somewhere along the line, it was a gold wing. Don't know what year, because the VIN tag's gone. That's probably just gonna go to the scrapyard. We'll get this bike stripped down. But it's just basically just fender, false tank. I like how Dad is standing here looking at this thing right underneath a pink toilet seat. Whoa. Or like a pink toilet cover. I just noticed that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the thing. It's a toilet seat cover lid thing with a smiley face on it. That's slightly terrifying. That's been here since we moved in, like what, how many years ago now? <laughs> we did not put that there, huh? Never noticed it before. Find out new things every day. Never looked up in this shed. <laughs> we were wondering why this windshield, or yeah, windshield washer, woo! <laughs> the coolant reservoir was out I here. I thought it was the windshield washer. Joking. And then we realized, yep. I think this one might be a little easier to take apart. It ain't one. attached. Oh, that's nice. That's a good tail light. Nice. We can use that. We Is got this whole thing one just now. completely loose? Yeah, it was just hanging uh, out. No. They were just hanging around. Hanging around. Do we have keys for this bike? Yes. That was nice. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, the no key thing's a no, pain. No more hammer and screwdriver. So this th this thing was almost all almost all ready to take it apart because all these bolts are out. Yeah. Wires are loose. Interesting. Well, that's kind of handy. What is that? Well, did this thing have air suspension on it at some point? It doesn't now. What's all these wires running? These, are these? I think somebody had a lot of extra lights on the thing. Yeah, I was like, what, what's all this? Having some underglow going on there. Oh, goody. That looks, <laughs> that looks fun. Is that your throttle key? Yeah, why, folks? I mean, you undid that one. Well, it looks like you're stealing the throttle cable from that one. Hmm, we got brake pads. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing those, nice. Real nice. They don't look too bad. No, they don't. Just three. That'll be nice to have brakes. Yeah. Significantly easier than the last bike. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna leave these sweet exhaust pipes on it? No! Because ah, wheelbarrow on. handles? Come I don't know what's on. going on with the things. God. Rear tire's really good though. It's like brand new. Oh, nice. No dry rot cracks in it. That's valuable. Yeah, yeah, that is. To me, anyway. And somebody had wired lights and all over this place. But hey, we we'll always use more wires. Yeah. Lord knows we use random wires instead of buying them. Absolutely. Who needs to buy wire? On camera, this just looks like a mechanical nightmare. Feels like it. Working on it, too. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> or you're just uh, admiring all the wiring going on this bike. It's a lot of it. <laughs> and uh, most of it is extra. It's like toggle switches like, all over the place. Wow! I don't know what's going on with it. It's like, who in the world would do wiring that dumb and put toggle switches in everywhere? Clutch works. Rugged wrench would. That's who would. But that, the brakes actually don't feel too bad on the front. Okay. That'll be nice. Got a heel toe shifter on it. Do you say rugged wrench would? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bothers me, that throttle cable. Ah. Yeah. It means I gotta pull that apart. Probably all because like, well, we weren't going to use it anyway, so snip. Yep. Well, you know what? Let's get the rest of these wires out of here. And then the next thing I'd like to do is actually make sure this engine cranks over. We'll slop mm. the battery in here, make sure the engine cranks over and has spark. We're going to make sure the kill switch is off this time? Yeah. We'll, ma <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still trying to figure out what's going on here. They got extra, extra buttons <laughs> like that. What is that? Maybe for a horn or something? Hopefully not the starter, but hey, if it is a starter, you know, we have lots of good experience in fixing that, but hey, starter button moves this time. 
it's straight pipe, but then it would actually sound like a real man's bike instead of just a room. No, room. It, can, room. it can sound like a vacuum cleaner. Room. That's fine. Sadness. There's spark plug wires. You're making sure everything is at least existent before you crank it. Yeah. Or where, where's this? What's what's this doing? Is that fuel? That has to be fuel, right? Right there. What? Isn't this the fuel line? Is this a de this? Detached? Nah, it goes up to the air. There's an air box. Oh. It goes up in here. I'm just trying to figure out what this one goes to. RPM gauge. Okay. Ooh, other brake pad. <laughs> That's exactly where brake pads belong. <laughs> And a random spark plug. Why not? Hey, keep fishing. You'll get the rest of the parts we need. Yeah, that's all. It's, it's real nice. Bookered. It's so nice. And there's no choke. That's all gone. Oh. But oh. it's here on this. Oh, wait. Is that? That's for the choke. They used it. It's just gone. And then you drill a hole for this little oh. button. Oh. That's what that is. That's why it's loose. So we have to put our choke cable back on there. Because we're going to need that. Okay, well, battery time. I don't like these batteries. Does this one at least charge this time? Good for the hell to charge. I mean, it's a diehard, so, I mean, it should be hard to kill, right? Well, Bruce Willis, or Bruce, wasn't Bruce Willis? Was Bruce, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, was he in Die Hard? I don't know. Am I that old? Old? Yeah, probably. Well, Bruce, it was like the 80s. Yeah, I mean, I was little in the 80s. True. I was around, but I don't I'm remember gonna, much. I'm going to stick with Bruce Willis and Die Hard. You know, it'd be a real bummer if we go to crank this thing and it's like, um, that engine is uh, done seized. I mean, the guy on the guy on Facebook Marketplace says it ran, so, so it, it has had to, to have be run. True. Anything on Facebook is true. Okay, keys. That's a thing of beauty. Love it. You know what's a thing of beauty? This merch. I like it. Look at that. I forgot my hat. I have my hat in the house yet too. If you like merch. Go ahead and check us out in the description. Ooh. Hey, it's even the right one. Hey, and we, we got, got lights. lights. Okay. We got lights. Come on, now do we have crankage? What? In the world? What, why is that? It, when you pull in the clutch, it goes to neutral? Something ain't right with that. There. Now, that, now it's in. There's neutral. Okay, fascinating. Okay. That's, that's wrong, nice. No. Well, that sounds healthy. Okay, well, I'm going to grab my test light and see if I got power going down to the starter. Okay, I got my testy light, and my dog is barking. Oh, the dog's getting testy. Mm. Got my testy light, won't bother it. Ooh, what? 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 And it's on. Or what? You can pull the key out and Both accessory? directions. It's park. Whatever. I'm confused. Or what? Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. I've got an off accessory on park. <laughs> you can put. Hmm. Don't let's, know. Let's not. Let's not. Anyway, test delight. light. Well, we don't got power. Well, to the, across the battery, yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead and poke that button while you're doing this. No power through the relay. Relay. Try poking the button again. <laughs> got it there. Not there. Try it again. It clicks, but ain't nobody home. Click, 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 click. Nothing. Okay, let's do it the old time way. You want me a screwdriver? Phillips? Ah, it don't matter because I'm just using it as a switch. We'll we'll swap the other. Hold on, we do we do at least have yeah run. Okay, that would be kind of fun. Yeah, that's for testing spark. True, but. See if it'll crank. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Oh yeah. That we got. Sounds like it has good compression too. Actually, sounds amazing. So, let's pull those out. Stick a spark plug in there, and you guys watch that for me. Watch right there at the at the sparky puggy at the tippy tip. Oh yeah. We got great spark. And we got we got sparks everywhere. Oh yeah. Can you did they see that? Oh yeah. Okay. It's a little hard to see on camera. That I do know. Actually we've never had a problem with the owner see spark on camera. Oh really? No. Okay. No. So we've got spark and the starter cranks, and it sounds like we have really good compression. All right.
pull carburetors off of that bike. Well, we got the Subaru intake. I mean, the <laughs> carbs out. After all, Dad's complaining. He procrastinated way longer than I actually took to get it done. Mm, yeah. Isn't that life? Get about ready to dump some fuel. Oh, just an O-ring and, some, and uh, some fuel. There's some fuel. Hmm. Hmm. Dump it right in our right where we walk. Here. <laughs> <laughs> After you dump most of it. I'm pretty sure I just spilt less fuel than those stupid new gas cans I, I use. True. <laughs> yeah, those new gas cans are. One of them still <laughs> wide open. When you flip it upside down, oh. all of the floats are down, so everything should be closed. <laughs> These gold wings don't have dipsticks. What? This one does. Whoa, right there. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, is that like an aftermarket? Yeah, very. It's plumbed into the drain plug. <laughs> I have no idea even how to read it. I mean, I feel like if you lean it over <laughs> that way too far, your oil will come out. I feel out. like you'll be like, yep, it has oil. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really clean, though. I don't know what they were thinking with just bending this stuff up. Well, obviously, you need to get something off. I am particular about some things. Don't bend stuff up. Don't scratch it up. I like how he's like, don't bend, don't scratch. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, we didn't have a key. <laughs> we, yeah, that didn't work, by the way. This was no good. So we jumped it anyway. Yeah, well, no, we know. Never mind everything I just said. <laughs> okay, let me find out which one of these carburetors is causing some issues. Well, 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 look at what we found. There it is. And a little float <laughs> right there that uh, is stuck in the upright position. Hmm? And these tray tables should not be in the upright position. Is there not tray tables? We're good. All right, so. But it's it's stuck up. I know some people like that. I it's, don't almost, know. it's almost like, no, I will not go back down. Yeah, it's moving a little bit now. I'm going to pull it out. And that, oh, that's like significantly different. That one's very soft when it goes down. Yeah, it's that supposed one's to be. It's not right. So, what the trick, that? it's an Allen wrench. I'm sure most of you guys know this kind of stuff, but all you do, watch you don't lose this pin, push this pin sideways, pull it out, set it somewhere extremely secure where you don't lose it, like on top of your carburetor. <laughs> and then this can slide out of there. Set that also. There's no liquid in it, we're good. Set that somewhere secure. Pull. Giving this whole tutorial in your hands the, seat out. the whole time. You know what to do if something's sticking and it's not moving. Spray some WD-40 in it. Well, bam Starting fluid, otherwise known as carburetor choke cleaner, except for this is actual starting fluid. I don't really think it's otherwise known as. It just is starting fluid, but <laughs> nothing like smell of starting fluid in the morning. Except for it's not morning. Actually, it's not a good smell because <laughs> that means you can't get your thing started. All right, it's working. Watch this. <laughs> can't blow through it. Oh yeah? Did it go back down? It's working. I'm gonna call that good enough. Maybe she won't be so thirsty now. Yeah. Well, we're currently uh, figuring out, we're changing this throttle cable since the last owner of this bike did a snippy snip on the he, throttle cable. He decided to be a good idea just to go, just go whoop. whack. So we gotta transfer the throttle cable over from the original bike over to this one. Got the new throttle cable run. Now we just need to do the uh, choke cable. Oh, choke and the carb and all that mm -hmm. good stuff. And yeah, making progress. That's when it helps to have a parts bike with stuff was snipped like that. Okay, we ready for the carburetor? How is this? Well, are you gonna do the choke or the carb first? Uh, I probably should do the choke cable. So what, this one oh, was yeah. just completely missing it? Oh, yeah. that's what was missing right Get there. down. Somebody needed it for parts apparently. <laughs> Well, she's ready to go back in. And now we come to our favorite part of the segment, putting the throttle cables back on. Hmm. No, no, and not favorite. <laughs> we'll have someone down in the comments. That's not that bad. I've done tons of them. Well, yeah, probably. Probably. Well, it still isn't fun. But I haven't. <laughs> yeah, I've done lots of things lots of times and thing probably still isn't fun. <laughs> well, we got the throttle cables all back in. We're putting the car all back together and then uh, she might be ready to fire up. Mm-hmm. All right, 
Moment of truth. I'm gonna put some gasoline in. We got a good solid half gallon in here. Might have to flip it to reserve. Okay. You know. Flip it to reserve. Wonderful gas cans. I hate these things. These are the epitome of society. I know you can buy nozzles. I have some nozzles for some other ones, but this one doesn't have it yet. Right. Hence the reason there was still gas in this one. <laughs> yes. And it's ethanol free. I oh on carbureted vehicles. You know, carbureted motorcycle, anything that sits for a longer period of time, uh, ethanol free is the way to go. It just, it'll save your carburetor. Or carburetors. <laughs> yes, and I do space. not enjoy taking these carburetors apart. Yeah, well, I, think we got, we, I think we know that by now. Whoa. Do we have lots of floaties? No, but we don't have much fuel in there. Oh. Let's flip this to reserve. Is there anything? No, we need more fuel. Yeah, it ain't gonna do anything. So. Oh, cool, see if it fires on carburetor. We'll see if it fires, at least fires we'll on carburetor. Yeah, starting fluid because we don't have any more gas right now. I'll have to go get some. Alrighty, where's the starting yeah, fluid at? That's right. in neutral. That's on. See, make sure it cranks. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. We gotta do the jumpy jumpy. Forgot about that little thing. Let's just. Let's just change it. We'll be back after we change the solenoid. Well, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> Dad's like, ah. I looked at it. I was like, we got supper soon. All right. Let's make sure it cranks first. It should still. Yep. Okay. Is she a runner? That's, that is the question. Should be plenty. Is she a runner? Hey, well, we got a little bit of poofy poofy. You want to give it a little bit of throttle? A little bit the other way. Sorry, yeah. Oh, I think our battery's dead. Yeah. Hmm. We'll get back to you. We know it, it poofed. It did poof. But you know what? We're just going to have to put it on the charger, get the uh, starter solenoid changed so we can actually just go click, click, click with this. That would be helpful. But you know what? It's supper time, and I don't like to miss supper time. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. The next day. Morning. We're back. Got some gasoline. And we're going to fill it up and see if she starts. Been sitting all night. I've been thinking about it all night. <laughs> Hoping it runs good. We'll see. Got some more gas, and we promptly put it in the horrible gas can again. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, well, this one's sitting right here. It was. <laughs> Not really seeing any evidence of any fuel being pumped anywhere or any actually evidence of any fuel besides the fact that it's actually in the gas tank. It's not coming out the valve yet, so. It's not coming out. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully the screen's not plugged up down inside the tank. Or maybe, maybe once it starts cranking, it'll actually start sucking it through there. All right, we got fuel in the gas tank. Got a new starter solenoid put on. We swapped it over from this bike onto this one. Yeah, brand new. Yeah, brand new spanking new to us. <laughs> well, actually, not even really. No, not even that. <laughs> and uh, oh, we're going to see if she fires. At least if she cranks. Oh, uh, she cranks. Cranks pretty good. We got crankage. We have never actually heard this bike run. No, uh, heard that one run. Well, it's driven that one. You okay. Come on, honey. Hey. Hey. Ted's like, we'll let it rest. Gives it literally 10 seconds of rest. Oh, okay. All right, well, we got a better jump box going on now. Yeah, got a bigger one. Yeah, much bigger. <laughs> Let's chill fire. Like right away. <laughs> Open that up. Uh... Yeah, we got. Not bad. Yeah. RPM gauge is working. The fact that it's actually idling that low is impressive. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Uh, okay. 
That a little better. I'm really, really happy with it. We'll let it idle for a little bit here, and then we'll change the oil. It'll look really, really clean, but I don't know if it got moisture down in there or anything like that, so we want to get the oil out. Also want to get this dipstick out of here. I don't, I don't like the dipstick. I feel like that's not a good idea. If we lean it one way, <laughs> scrape too hard, I'm gonna scrape my dipstick right off. Yeah, our temp gauge is starting to move. Okay. We'll let it run for a little while, make sure the fans kick on. I'm happy, our fuel pump's working. It's idle and fairly decent. It actually sounds pretty good. Before we let her run too terrible long, I wanna get that oil out of here and get new oil in. True. So, let's do that a while. I'll show you this down in here. I don't know if you can see it real well or not, but that's the sight glass. There's just no real good way in here. That little thing in the middle is the sight glass for the oil. So you check it, put it on the center stand, and then check it. You can almost see it in the video. It's over full and milky. So it's full of moisture. So we gotta get that oil out of here. So here is this dipstick. And it's attached right to where the drain plug is. Right through there, right there. I mean, what the world kind of nonsense is that? So you pull that drain plug out, eliminate that dipstick. The oil filters inside of there. Get all that replaced. All right, look at that oil. Yeah, that stuff's pretty bad. Very, very milky with water. It's not antifreeze, I don't think, because well, our antifreeze is full, so it's not antifreeze. Definitely need to get that out of there. Probably got no oil in. I'm gonna start it back up. Start her back up. See how she starts. Pretty stinking good. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. Does it go into gear? True. Oh yeah. Yeah, but the clutch doesn't release. That's nope. always nice. Oh, who needs the clutch? <laughs> clutch doesn't release. So nothing. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Well, that one was doing the exact same thing at first. Oh, true. <laughs> we know how we fixed the other one. <laughs> Didn't, oh, wow, well, we soaked <laughs> the engine in gasoline. <laughs> Yeah, that's neutral again. <laughs> it hurts my brain. No, we had it running there earlier and I heard a plug wire arcing across, so these were fairly new plug wires that were on it, but one was junk. So we swapped them over from the other bike. And now, it is right there. It's, it's running, I, I thought it was running pretty good before. It's running really good now. Temperature gauge is coming up. There it is. Fan kicked on and working. I like it. Temperature's up. Looking good. Looking real good. What you working on, Arthur? Well, I'm trying to look for my stupid extension. <laughs> it's like oh, the story of my life. Right here? No. Oh, you stole it. Yeah, I stole oh, it. I was going to say. It's like, I just had that stuff. Yeah, Arthur is actually, he's working on this bike. So it's yeah, just it's. Uh, what you doing right now? Well, taking bolts out, apparently. <laughs> taking bolts out. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, trying to take this whole bracket off the front end with the horns on it and everything because the other one was boogered up on the other bike. This one's not the greatest shape. It's pretty rusty, but it's there at least. So we're going to transfer it all over to this bike here. And uh, I got the air box in. Air cleaner is in there. Well, it's rusty. What else do we? I'll put some just miscellaneous chrome that pieces. That is a on rusty gal. Come on. Got this mounted in the rubber properly. The starter solenoid. So we're making progress. Making progress. Got the speedometer cable hooked up. That was just hanging out on this bike. But yeah, it's coming back together. I like it. Oh, I should work on those front brakes. They're they're there. <laughs> But they're squishy. Oh, you turkey. Brakes would be nice. Having fun, Arthur? Everything's so rusty. <laughs> so rusty. <sighs> wow, we're making some progress. Got all like the little stuff put 
back together and you know uh I'm blanking on the specifics for the little stuff but <laughs> the little stuff that takes a while uh putting brackets back on we are almost ready to start slapping the plastics uh back on so it is really 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 nice to have a whole extra parts bike just so you can eyeball stuff up and if you're missing something you just swap it and makes the whole project a lot easier so I think it'll be a pretty nice ride. Well, I mean, as nice as you can get with an 81 Goldwing. All right, see if we can get it to drive. Dad's a little bit breathing heavy just from trying to get this thing out of the shed. It's a lot of pushing. <laughs> That bike doesn't look too bad. Oh yeah. Then we got working lights all the way around. The horn sounds great. Sounds so healthy. All right, here we go. Clutch is stuck, so. <laughs> Send her. <laughs> She's moving, folks. Hey, clutch freed up. Hey, that was quick. It freed up. That didn't take long at all. It's not running amazing right now, but it's running. Wow. Well, what's up with that? I don't know. Voltmeter's working. That's great. Of course, the radio still doesn't work, but the clock comes on when you turn the radio on, so that's pretty neat. Okay. Ready for the maiden voyage. Yeah. We're gonna go on a test drive. I think there was a little bit of water in the bottom of the fuel tank that we didn't see. It looked clean, but I think there was water in it. You see it smoking out the back a little bit. We'll see if that clears up. It was clearing up. I did disconnect the fuel line. Ooh. Sounds like it just cleared up. It did. It just cleared up, so it's yeah. running on all four cylinders again. We're gonna we're gonna take it to put fuel in it. Okay, stay close. Okay, we gotta do something with all this shifter. Right. Mm. Wasn't running very good at all. Still got a decent amount of water. Well, I don't know. This fuel line I saw was leaking. My battery's dead. I heard that. I was like, oh, for crying out loud. And I can't shift. Yeah, I saw that. So this is just proof that we don't fake anything. <laughs> We're struggling. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are really struggling. <laughs> We're just limping this thing back home. About top speed's 20 mile an hour, but it's good because we're only about two miles from home. So, we're gonna get it home and see what's going on. I got some things to sort out. It's not running good at all. I can't shift. <laughs> I can get first and second. I had third once, but then shifting back down I don't know what's going on inside of there. This linkage is like super stiff and sitting here, it doesn't feel too bad. So I don't know what's going on. Gonna have to figure that out, how to make that work. And I also want to uh, drain the carburetors, get some fuel out. I'll probably pop the seat back off and pop the setting unit out of the tank and then have a real good look down inside the bottom and just pump all the fuel out because there's obviously some water or something in it that it didn't look like it before but definitely water it's not running healthy at all so i'll do that i mean it rides nice doesn't run good 
two seconds later. Here's what I did to fix it. Um, first of all, there is one of those little fuel filters, those glass fuel filters that Derek from Vice Grip Garage says to get rid of. Well, I got rid of it because it was sucking air. Uh, this fuel line over here was just constant. Well, there's a little bubble in there right now too, but it was just constant bubbles, even when it was uh, running, just constant. And it would run out of fuel. That was my problem, it would run out of fuel. So put all that on there, took the bike for another test drive and it was idling pretty good. And then uh, it started running terrible again, just like, it's like starving for fuel. We're running a little better on choke, but not good. And so then I took this all apart in here and, and here come to find out when this thing gets down at half a tank, it goes below, there's like little pickup tubes inside the tank, it goes below these things. And there is a little pinhole in my pickup tube. And it didn't seem to make a difference whether I put it on reserve or on regular. And they're two different tubes. I couldn't quite figure that one out, but there's a little pinhole in, in one of those tubes and it would just suck air. And so I ended up, we're gonna have to get a tank essentially for it. So what I ended up doing is running my fuel hose back into my can in here again. Remember the last video, that's what we did. And so I put on that test drive, put 17 miles on it and used half a gallon of fuel. I'd say that's about right. So I don't know. I say we get a tank for it unless there's another way of fixing these tanks. Not that I know of. I mean, they look like they're a sealed thing, but yeah, that's what we did to fix it. Very, very happy 17 mile test drive.